Welcome SkyDroid users. This is going to be a quick tutorial on our course mapper tool on SkyDroid.net. Course mapper is a tool on the SkyDroid.net website that lets you map any golf course so that you can download it to the SkyDroid app on your Android phone. Courses that have been mapped are available for download immediately and at no additional cost. You can download courses you map yourself as well as courses that others have already completed. Keep in mind that to use course mapper you have to be familiar with the layout of the course. So let's get started. First, let's navigate to the SkyDroid.net website. And then just click on the link for Course Mapper. Keep in mind that Course Mapper is meant to be used from a desktop or laptop browser. OK, first we need to enter a few pieces of information. When all that information is entered, just click Next. This screen you probably won't have to do anything with if you are mapping a standard 18-hole course. If it's a 9-hole course, just change the drop-down to 9 holes. If your course has additional segments, like 3 9-hole segments or 2 18-hole courses, you can add those here by giving them a name and selecting the number of holes. When you're all set, just click the Next button. OK, now we are ready to start mapping the course. First, just position your window so you can see everything, including the All Mapping Complete button at the bottom. The All Mapping Complete button is very important, because you'll click that to save all your work. You only need to click it when you finish mapping the 18th hole, for example, but you can click it at any time and it will let you know how many holes you've completed. Keep in mind that once you start mapping, you should not navigate away or close the screen until all holes have been mapped. You can, if you need to, open a separate browser tab if you need to look something else up on the web. Let's look at the satellite image here on our right. With any luck, it has been positioned over the course you want to map. It used the address you entered on the first page to position the map. If you can't see your course, you may need to zoom out a bit and reposition the map until it is over the course. To zoom the map, you can use the scroll bar, or better yet, if you have a scroll wheel on your mouse, you can use that. To reposition or pan the map, just hold down your mouse button and drag the mouse. All right, let's map our first hole so you can see how this works. You can see that this says hole one here. So let's start by zooming into the green for, the, for hole number one. Position the green so that it's centered on the map and as big as possible. If you zoom in too far, you'll get a gray screen. So just back it out one notch, and the map will become visible again. Once you have the green in position, just click the Map It button one time. As you do, you will see three markers have appeared on the map. Now just drag the markers to the front, center, and back of the green. Put the markers on a straight line with respect to each other. The line they are on should represent a good or common line of approach into the hole. Position the front and back markers right on the edge of the green, or the fringe if you can make it out. Okay, cool. 
We've mapped our first hole, but let's see how we can add some features to this hole as well. Just move over to the Add Feature section and select the feature you want to add from the drop-down. You can add as many features to the hole as you want. We have five types available. The target point feature can be used to map any point of interest, including layup spots, to mark the end of a fairway, or even pin positions. Water hazards are usually pretty important to map, since golfers often need to know how far it is to the front or back of a water hazard. Just select the type you want and enter a brief description. Then, just click the Add Feature button one time. Over to the right, you'll see it show up here. Position the map over, your, over the feature you want to map, and click the Map It button next to the feature. You'll see two new markers show up on the screen. Now just drag them as usual to the front and back of the feature. There is no center marker for additional features. If you only want to map the front of a feature, you can deselect the back marker. Or to put it back, just check the box again and reposition the marker on the screen. If you mouse over a feature name, it'll tell you what that feature is. Here it says Hole 1, Greenside Bunker, on left. Cool. We've mapped the green and a feature for hole 1. Before we move to hole 2, let's just see what happens if we click the All Mapping Complete button now. You don't need to do this after each hole. In fact, it only needs to be clicked once after the last hole. But let's try it now just for fun. You'll see a couple of messages here. One says that it saved your information. The other says to keep going, because we've only completed one out of 18 holes. After the 18th hole, we will click this once more and we will be all done. Let's move on to hole 2 now. Just click the arrow button here to advance to the next hole. You'll see it now says hole 2. Over in the map, you'll need to position it over the green for hole 2. So zoom out and pan the map and zoom back in so hole 2 in the green is centered and large. Now just click the Map It button to bring up the markers and drag them to the front, center, and back of the green. Okay, that's the idea. Center the map and zoom it in over whatever you are mapping. Click the Map It button and drag the markers. Don't forget to click the arrow button to advance to the next hole. On this hole, I'm going to map a target point to mark the end of the fairway at this turn. Click the Map It button. For this feature, I don't need a back position, so I'll deselect that and just position the front marker. Putting it right at the end of the fairway at this turning point. Okay, now I'm ready to go to hole 3. I'll do the rest of the holes, and then we'll come back and I'll save our work at the end. Okay, 
I've gone ahead and mapped all 18 holes. If you zoom out on your map, it'll probably look something like this. And you'll be able to see all the markers placed for all the holes and the features. Now we'll just go ahead and click the All Mapping Complete button. When you get the second green message here, that means your course is good to go and can be downloaded by anyone with the SkyDroid app. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And good luck golfing. And have fun with the SkyDroid app. Thank you.